Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 30th. This week, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And all you have to do is hit the bell notification icon down below and subscribe, and you will catch me live. But Cancer, uh, let's see what's going on for you uh, for the week of September 30th. And Cancer. Let's see. Uh, your overall energy for the week is the Three of Diamonds. Three of Diamonds, it can be a card of confusion or not being sure what to do. Your outcome, Ace of Diamonds, amazing. So, you know, I really wouldn't worry about this card at all, uh, having it as your overall energy because, again, your outcome is the Ace of Diamonds. So maybe at the beginning of this week, you are just confused about what to do with your life or what direction you want to take your life. But by the end of the week, Ace of Diamonds, again, so looks like you're going to be picking a path. Wouldn't even worry about it. What I will say is... That Three of Diamonds says, be careful of your paperwork. It is a card of problems with your paperwork. And it just, just says, keep an eye on your paperwork. Uh, next, in the area of opportunities for you this week, you have the Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades is an amazing card for opportunities for like anything online related. So online dating, for example, if you're looking for love. Uh, but it could also be other online opportunities as well, like online business online work if you do like freelance work part-time work um, anything like that really good card for that also an amazing card for opportunities to communicate your desires to people in your life this could be in love but it could also be in other areas of your life as well so if there are people you need to talk to or if there's a message that you're trying to get across to certain people in your life now would be the time to communicate with those people in the area of love you have the six of spades Six of Spades is just a card of momentum, and overall, it just says that you could start to notice how your love life starts increasing, how it starts getting faster, or maybe things start speeding up in your love life in some way. So it's like, maybe you're going from no love to like 10 people wanting to date you overnight. This is not going to be true for everybody, but maybe for a lot of you, this is going to be true. It could also just say that you're on the right path in love. It could say that you, if you are in a relationship, it could say you're with somebody very important who will become very important. And if you're finding someone new this week, it could say the same thing. Uh, your challenge for love is the Six of Hearts. Six of Hearts is star-crossed lovers when it comes up in the challenge position. So it could say if you're like um, thinking about someone from the past, this card could say, yes, maybe this person was a soulmate, but also maybe you are just star-crossed lovers, meaning that you know two people who want to be together but can't be together for whatever reason. It is also a card of moving on when it comes up in the challenge position. So it could say that letting something go or moving on from a past situation uh, could be a little bit of a challenge for you right now. Um, so again, you could be having some difficulties there. It's also like a card of obstacles in relationships. And it could say that you're having a hard time getting rid of certain obstacles in, in your relationships in life. So that could be a challenge as well. Uh, your solution is the Queen of Swords. Yeah, to cut something out. So the to me, the Queen of Spades, I mean, is a card of cutting things out of your life. So it might be time to let something relationship wise go from the past um, this could also say that you're just kind of like focused on yourself this week so I feel like some of you are just more independent this week in the area of money and finance you have the jack of hearts here coming up the jack of hearts is an amazing card of an offer so if you're looking for a job or if you're hoping to get something new definitely could be an offer this could also be you making some sort of financial offer so maybe you're like trying to buy a car or maybe you're trying to buy a house or trying to get an apartment whatever uh, this is an amazing card for making offers or for putting in some sort of offer into a situation like that uh, your challenge this week in finance is the death card and uh, this comes up for you Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini all the time. So like those four signs get the death card like in a challenge position like this in regards to finance. What does it mean? Really, what I think this means is that I feel like there are a lot of external opportunities that pretty much everybody has, that we all have, but the, that we do not see. So it's like, maybe we have a job. Maybe it's perfect for us. Maybe we are really happy at the job we're at. But at the same time, maybe there's something better. But again, we wouldn't know that because maybe we're not looking for a job. So I feel like the death card is saying for some of you that there could be other opportunities for you work-wise or business-wise. 
And I feel like you, you have to kind of look for them. For others, this could say that letting go of a current, um, maybe you know you need to leave your current job, but maybe like finding something is a little bit of a challenge for you. Your solution for work in finance is the Seven of Clubs, slow and steady progress. Um, Seven of Clubs is just a card called the mice. And, you know, mice, they chew through a wall really slowly. So it's just a card of like kind of like slow and steady progress towards your goals financially. And it's just a card of like kind of like slowly chewing away at things. Same thing if you have debts or anything you want to pay off seven of clubs just says like take your time and you will slowly but surely kind of like move forward and get things taken care of uh, next in the area of health you have the two of hearts so really good card uh, two of hearts is just a perfect match with you and your body in the area of health and it just says you will be healthy. Uh, next in your challenge for health, you have the three of hearts. I would definitely say threes to me represent your back. So be careful of injuring your back or be careful of like lifting anything heavy or putting things above your head. Even with the three of hearts, I would be careful of those types of things. But all in all, not a bad card. And your solution in health is the king of hearts. Again, I feel like you're just going to be feeling healthy this week for the most part. Um, again, if you are not feeling healthy this week, if you are feeling sick or anything like that, uh, it does look like things will kind of turn around very quickly with this king of hearts so i don't think it'll last very long at all and finally again your outcome here is the ace of diamonds love it ace of diamonds is a new beginning and picking a path as well three of diamonds like i said confusion about what to do in whatever area of your life. So you could be confused about any area in your in your life. You could be confused about what to choose, what to pick, what to do. And the Ace of Diamonds at the end here as your outcome is just saying you are choosing a new beginning. And so I love it. So that looks amazing. Uh, definitely a very good card for money as well. But it looks like a really, really good week for you. Definitely could be love coming in this week as well. All these hearts cards. So even if we remove the spread from the reading, um, there definitely could be love coming in for you. Could be a water sign, jack of hearts, king of hearts showing up here uh, all these hearts cards so two hearts perfect match in love three of hearts is actually a positive card even though it came up in your challenge position so looks like a really good week here for you cancer so thank you for watching and enjoy your week